A big topic of conversation now is how y'all did it during the pandemic. <laughs> did everybody work from home during the, the, the no. okay. You never did, Britta. No, okay. I mean, it's tough because on the weather staff, we it's a small group of people. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had to be here. Okay, so I think I did uh, you know, at the stay at home order, I think I did sixty eight shows, Houston uh -huh. Life shows oh, wow. from home, wow. 63, yeah. 68, something like yeah. that. Amy, you were home for a while. I did like a month, okay. a month of reporting from home and then, yeah, sitting at the kitchen table, like doing interviews on Zoom and stuff. And Sophia, you did a little bit. I did a little bit. I was home on the week, one day a week on the weekends, uh, not anchoring from home, uh, just helping with production and, and writing scripts. Okay. I still can't believe that we did it. And Amy, right. I saw visions of Piper, your sweet daughter, <laughs> behind you during the morning show at 6.30 hit or something like that. I think in that <laughs> Whole month. At least happened. one child woke up every time, but Piper was the only one who just like walked behind me in her robe, like her tie dye robe. She was so cute, though. Well, and it was yeah. during a time where things were really intense. Yeah. So to see Piper, I was like, that's what my heart needed. Oh, I needed to see like a little angel yeah. face. I was like, okay, life, life is okay. Well, right. Good. And it was yeah. good to just kind of see that because I think you know, in our business, perfection is sort of a standard, yeah, right? We, right? We don't, we try not to make mistakes, especially technically and all of that. When you're at home and when we were at a stay at home order during a pandemic, I mean, yeah. all bets are off. We were right, lucky to get right. it on the air, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had another one, a Zoom. I was having to interview somebody in a Zoom call and at that point, like all the kids are awake and, and you know, like I'm interviewing this guy. <laughs> and I was like, hold on just one second. Get up there right now! <laughs> logging the interview later, I was like, oh, oh that oh, poor guy. Like, like, mommy, <laughs> dearest. <laughs> but it's real life. Now, what about school? Because I remember, oh. I felt so bad for my kids. Looking back now, I think they slightly got dumber during that time. <laughs> you know, homeschooling, I, I mean, it was a total disaster. I remember seeing, like, our dining room table, and it was covered yeah. with everything that we printed off. No one could find anything. No. I have no, I can't help anybody with math. No. I mean, it's terrible. And hats <laughs> off to the people who are still doing that or still have to do it. I mean, it is yeah. insane. It is insane. Because, yeah. I mean, it really, the pandemic is really, it's still happening. Like, yes. It's crazy yeah. to think, I mean, now that we're, March is, like, in sight, we all remember, like, when the rodeo shut down, when we went to spring break and never went back. Right. And it's like, oh, my goodness, it's really coming up on a year. A year. Yeah. yeah. And Crazy. how things have changed. How did you handle I it, Sophia? I think the hardest part was, like you said, having everything out, having the computers out, and then Ella having to focus. Because mm -hmm. her focus, uh, I spoke with her teacher, and her teacher's like, you don't understand how much these kids move every day, all day. Right. And she had to mm -hmm. sit there, and she would just look at me like, Mom, can I please hang up? Can I get off? <laughs> and I'm like, no, you can't. You're in school. And she just, it, she didn't want to do it. And unfortunately, she started to, her grades started to go down. Mm -hmm. um, so when she finally did go back to in person, a whole new child, whole new kiddo. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I think we take that for granted. They are, our kids are obviously very resilient, but having that, um, not having the interaction, not having that kind of eight hours a day seeing their teachers and learning from people instead of mom and dad, right? Right. Because let's be, let's face it, we're still <laughs> mom and dad, you right. know? And so we're like, I don't understand why you didn't do it. Well, right. You know, I mean, teachers. Let's be yeah, honest. Right. No. No. Teachers, zero patience. Phenomenal. No like, patience. I can't even touch what they do. It was so Survival That's in the, that yeah. first, you know, back last spring. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Last spring, I thought, okay, is this an actual grade? It's not, we're not doing it. Right. I mean, I, I just, we were, yeah. I think everybody was in the same boat. I told my kids who have perfect attendance, or my oldest does, I said, they are taking attendance. And so, like, if you don't log in to all of your Zooms and do it, then you're going to mess up your perfect attendance. So, don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Secret safe. Right. So, any last advice? I mean, I think all the kids are uh, back in person, back right? In person. Yeah. yeah. Just manage it, I guess. Manage Time management. It. I think give them a little, a little leeway. leeway. I think yeah. just... A, it's so difficult for kids to sit still and, and watch the screen for so long, you know, and you just got to imagine how you would feel in Zooms all day. And now she complains about having a mask on all day. Right. Yeah. And so that's even difficult. Our kids are really feeling the stress right now. So if they want to come home and just watch TV, I'll let Ella, you know, watch more TV than uh, usual. Um, but it's kind of the stress is so high right now for them. Right. I'm really feeling it.